Hello friends, in the last topic we learned about single, twin and four sequin. Today, we will learn about sequin motif. It has points inside, hanging, hanging rivers, latkan, latkan mirror, latkan to frame, latkan to frame mirror, latkan sateen, latkan sateen mirror, star with sequin, middle point sequin, four and six frame motif. Here, we'll draw a line using bezier with line fill. First, we will select the hanging style, then go to the basic properties of line fill. By pressing H in the style section, all motifs starting with the alphabet H will be displayed. We will select the hanging motif by going to the style. Go to the sequin properties and turn on the sequin option. So here, the hanging sequin has been applied. Here, we will draw a line and apply sequins to it. When we run the machine here and observe, sequins will drop from stitch to stitch. In the hanging sequins, where the drawing starts, first a stitch will go forward, then it will reverse, come back, and drop the sequin. Drop sequins onto the second stitch and moves on. Then comes hanging reverse. Currently, the sequin object that we have created here does not have join start and end points. In design, it's not always necessary to keep the start and end points separate during punching. Sometimes, it's required to join the start and end points. When we join the start and end points of this object, the sequin gets locked. So here, the hanging reverse motif is used. Here, we have applied the hanging reverse. By applying the hanging reverse, the sequin will be locked on one side. After that comes the latkan. We will draw a line using bezier tool with line fill. After going to the property and going to style, the latkan motif will come to press L. Here, the latkan motif has been applied. The stitch length that we have set is accordingly applied here. Now we will turn on sequin in latkan style. Now we will duplicate the object and set its start and end point at start. If we use the reverse input point in this, then the sequin that was coming down will move to the upside. If we want this motif on the downside, then we have the option of latkan mirror. Selecting this motif will bring the motif back to the downside. Then there is latkan to frames. Now we will go to edit style and check how many frames are there and how is the style made. So here you can see two frame. The first frame has one side sequin and the second frame has both side sequins. Now we will play the machine and check how this style work. You can see that one stitch is running on the first frame and twice on the second frame. If we keep the start and end points of this object together or separately, the sequin will not appear on the last stitch. If you want to add sequins on the last stitch, then there is an option in the line fill advance parameter, which is named force last frame on last stitch. If we have to run the first frame, 
Then we will select the frame number 1 from here and the second frame will be added to the last stitch because we have turned on the force last frame on last stitch button. You can see on this single stitch is running. This style will also become mirrored if you change the start and end point. That's why both options are given here. You can use any of the two styles according to your need. After that comes the Latkan Satin. Latkan Satin and Latkan to frame motifs are the same. Both motifs work in the same way. Here, we need to go to the Advanced Properties and select the option Force Last Frame on Last Stitch. This means that on the last stitch, the frame changes, bringing in the second frame. In the frame from and frame to settings, you need to select the frame with the first number. After that, there is an option called Latkan Satin Mirror. If we change the start and end points within the Latkan Satin Mirror option, it will not result in any change in the motif. If we need the motif on the upside or downside, we can use both Latkan Satin and Latkan Satin Mirror options. After that, there is star with sequin. We will draw a line using bezier with line fill, and in that, we will select the motive star with sequin. Inside this, there are two frames. We turn on the sequin. And then set the length to 4 mm. If we want to make changes such as having only the star motif or only the string motif, we can change that from the properties. In the frame from and frame to options, we need to select the frame that we require. In this way, we can also take a single frame. Next comes the 4 and 6 frame motif. To create a 4 and 6 frame motif, we need to make an object using dual side or dual bezier. Here, we draw an object using dual side. If we require a 3 mm sequin here, then we have taken a spacing of 2 mm according to the overlap. According to the stitch spacing, we will also set the length to 2 mm here. In the style section, we will select a motif named V hanging 4 frame. Here, we will select 1 in the frame first from option. In frame second, we will take 4. In frame first 2, we will take 1. In frame second 2, we will take 4. Then we need to turn on square end and then press OK. Then if we turn on the sequin in this object, then the sequin will come in one line and not in one line. In the advanced properties, there is an option in style on where by default the first stitch appears. Here, you need to select both stitches and then press OK. Here, sequins have been perfectly applied on one side, but there is a slight gap on the other side. In the advanced properties of Satin, you need to go to the advanced properties of the line parameter and turn on the option for change frame at nodes. So, here the sequence will be added perfectly. After that, there is a 6 frame motif. By creating an object with dual sides, we can set the spacing and length according to our requirements. In the style section, we will select the V hanging 6 frame motif. 
we will select one in frame first from, then four in frame second from. Again select one and four here. We will turn on the square end option and in the style on section, we will select both stitches. Then we will turn on the sequin option. In the advanced properties of Satin, you need to go to the advanced properties of the line parameter and turn on the option change frame at nodes. So here, the sequin will be applied perfectly. So, that was the sequin motif.